Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today. Some run plays out of the Raiders playbook. This is a playbook that I really haven't put a lot of attention to this year. But a couple days ago, I asked you guys to let me know in the comments section what playbooks you wanted me to focus on next. Uh, what playbooks you wanted me specifically to use myself personally so I could really flush them out. And the Raiders probably got the most votes. It was between the Raiders and the Saints. But I already, I've already put out so many great Saints plays already this year uh, that it just didn't make sense. I really neglected the Raiders playbook. I've, I haven't put a lot of time into them this year so far. It's pretty much been Saints and Packers, and I had a lot of Ravens early in the year as well. So I decided I'm going to use the Raiders as one of my my. You know, the playbooks that I use the most in games. I also am using the Niners quite a bit. They had the third most votes, but I really wanted to use a playbook myself personally that I haven't used a ton. And the Niners and Raiders are probably two of my biggest ebooks, to be honest with you. They're both, typically my ebooks are like 30 pages or more. Those are probably 40 page plus ebooks, both of them. I mean, they're, they're massive. There's so many great plays. Uh, so I'm going to at least highlight some of them in uh, some practice mode videos for you guys. Uh, but I'm also going to do my best to try to add to them and find more plays out of these playbooks because they're both incredible playbooks uh, and that's pretty much the playbooks I'm going to choose. I'll still have probably a weekly Saints video for my Saints followers so by no means am I going away from the Saints. They're still one of the best passing playbooks in the game. Now if you'd like me to continue with the Raiders as always hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. I'd love to do an iPhone close uh, scheme. They have amazing plays in the iPhone close especially man beating plays this year in iPhone close uh, since man coverage is so popular and so overpowered. I also have a really good scheme out of the spread wide flex. If you guys want to see all these things like i said let me know in the comment section or hit the like button i'll continue to do them i'll continue to focus on them but today i'm going to be doing a running video and i'm going to be doing it out of the doubles off close now this particular uh, formation i think it's kind of new to man it may have been in the game last year but some of these plays i mean they're, they're, let's just put it this way they're new to me i got four different plays here they're all in my uh in my audibles already I'll have some passing plays for my people in Patreon and my, my Join Now community. So if you want to see the pass plays, uh, make sure to be a member for that. And you can check those out. Some good pass plays here as well. As far as my four audibles go, I have the Stretch Alert Screen, the Counter Y, both you can see here. Uh, the halfback slam is kind of like the halfback dive, but you get like a stupid animation. So the halfback dive is the better of the two. And then last but not least, you got the jet sweep. I'll pick my fifth play, which will be the zone fake jet, because obviously you're going to want to have that fake in there. The last thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have my speed guy here rather than over here. I don't want Henry Ruggs over there. I want him in the slot position. You can also put a tight end at this wide receiver spot, which I feel like is really going to help seal that edge. So a lot of times I find it's best to do that. Now, before I start, the video i just wanted to say this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor mmoxp.com i've been with them for many years now they're the best coin providers on the market so if you want to boost up your mud team check them out other than that link in the description below use code money shot for five percent off and let's get right into the video so as far as the reads go uh, i mean this is one of the meta defenses right here it's one of the ones that i'm personally using i typically pinch uh take away these gaps but i know a lot of people don't so if you get a look like this where there's open gaps it's not a hard read at all the easiest read is going to be the slam you really have your option as far as you know you can run to either gap just by flipping it it's not really it doesn't feel like a true dive play uh as much as anything i actually think i messed this up i actually think i have to fix <laughs> my audibles because like i was saying the slam has this weird uh play action which slows down the handoff i forgot that i was supposed to put the dive in there that's not one of the more explosive plays in this formation i hope i don't see a ton of this uh, but you can also flip it, I mean, if you want to run it to either side. I typically am going to want to run it to the tight end side, especially if there's not like a cover through safety in the box that way. Because you have two tight ends, you can see, but we're getting some great blocks as the line really gets down the field and gets to the next level on that play. Now, if they keep giving me this look, I'm probably going to switch over. But here we go once again. Now, here's kind of like a blitzing look. I have an even bigger gap. This is a real easy read. Uh, as far as, like I said, you can go, you can flip right stick uh, to go to either gap. That's the only thing that really matters. So this is a look here. Anytime that I have, uh, I mean, I could always go with that dive. That dive is always going to be there, and I could try to aim for that. But anytime I have spacing like that between a defensive end and the defensive tackle, it's always going to be good to run the counter. The counter play uh, is going to, it, it works a lot like a, a trap play uh, in this regard when it comes to that guy being out so far. Uh, and you can try to run against looks like this, which, like I said, I'm probably going to get a lot of these. 
But this is definitely not one of the better looks. Like you said, you said, I can get something out of it because there is spacing, but it's better with four down linemen. So here's a good look. Anytime you have like a loaded box like this, the, the either the stretch or the jet sweep is going to be good. Now the cornerback that on the on the side that I'd be going either way is off pretty far. So this is definitely a look where I could get away with a stretch and then just take it as, as wide as possible. Almost got outside of the uh, of the of the zones there. Now here it looks like we have a blitz, and this is the perfect opportunity. Anytime you have heavy blitzers, the jet sweep is the best way to go. Uh, hopefully I'll have time. I put like a, I hit like an 80 yard touchdown on a guy who was man blitz blitzing me like this right out the gate in the gameplay on Weekend League. Hopefully I'll, I'll either put that out or I'll put that at the beginning of this video. But the jet sweep's really great. Anytime you have somebody either stacking the box or committing to a blitz, the jet sweep is going to get outside of that. And especially when you have a guy like Henry Ruggs uh, in your slot, which I had Tyree Kill at the time. So that's going to be a very explosive play. So that's definitely something you can do. Um, the stretch alert screen, I'm going to go ahead and force this. Uh, because I don't want to keep running the same play over and over and over. But anytime I feel like I have the edge, like I feel like I kind of have here, I can get to that next level and get a really good stretch play out of this. That's that's probably the bread and butter play, to be honest with you, is a stretch play. Now, to try to simplify this as much as possible, there's really four different things I'm looking for when I'm making the read in between the four plays that I'm going to choose. Uh, and on a play like this, I mean, this is probably, I can tell right away, I can tell pretty instantly that this is probably best just to run the dive. Especially since the uh, I can flip it and go where that linebacker is kind of out of the way he's probably blitzing he's probably going to take himself right out of the run but to make that read anytime i see gaps over either one of these uh guard spots uh, that's pretty much all i'm going to do is go with the dive it's a really safe simple play if you're going to give me that gap i'm going to take it i'm going to get five yards and be happy now if they're stuffing the box if there's no gaps uh, and they're overloading if they're blitzing heavy, uh, run blitzing, if they're they're hitting with man blitzes, the jet sweeps the play. It's really that simple. Those are your two main reads when it comes to these two plays. The third play, when it comes to the stretch alert screen, there's two reads for this because the screen's really uh, effective. The screen, if it's a cover three or a cover four, any off zone where the cornerbacks drop back, the screen's going to be an actually a really good play. I haven't run into that yet, but that's going to be something that I'm always looking for. And then when it comes to the stretch run, once again, cover threes, cover fours, where the cornerbacks drop back, you're going to have success there too but ultimately i'm really looking if it's a man coverage you can have success with this if that cornerback is lined up right in front of that tight end that tight end is going to blow him off the ball on this particular play i'll run in a minute you're going to see how that cornerback is going to get unblocked because the tight end is just basically he's not in the area that he's going to recognize and then the last read is the counter y which i already showed you if you have a four-man spread front uh, where the defensive ends are out further than the left tackle, and they're further away from the defensive tackles, that's going to be when you use that. So, like I said, just to show you how the stretch alert screen will not really work too good against a look like this, you can see, I mean, that just, nothing really got blocked there. It's really important that they're right in front of those guys. So here we definitely have a man blitz, so this is definitely the option uh, to go with um, the jet sweep. A lot of people don't run jet sweeps. I feel like um, there's a... I don't know. People just feel like either they don't know how to run them or they're just kind of scared to run them. I'm not really sure, but you can see once those guys commit forward, it just leaves them completely barren on the backside, and then you can get explosive runs. So anytime somebody's man blitzing you, have a jet sweep in your in your back pocket. It's going to be a great play. Here's another opportunity for the dive. The dives are boring, uh, but like I said, if I get these these open gaps, I'm going to take them. It just is what it is. I don't have a choice uh, necessarily in this scheme because this is the only real read for those huge gaps the only play that i didn't run by the way is the play that i originally selected the fake and the reason for that is because this is really just it's not a great run it's just a play that you have to run uh just to keep your opponent honest with when it comes to the sweep so you can't have success with it obviously it's a good run but ultimately it's not like you know this is not one of the bread and butter runs it's just something that will keep the user honest if he follows that uh that you know if he follows that out of the way that that zone fake one time he's gonna you know it's gonna basically open up the, the zone fake the, the actual jet uh based off the fact that you can go the opposite way so the fake is really just it's just a constraint play but you can see it i mean it's still it's still pretty successful i'm still having some pretty successful runs with it because the run play is not really going to change here we have that double blitz double safety blitz perfect opportunity they're going to overcommit. they're going to they're going to shoot in and that just gives me the opportunity to go outside and like i said you got make sure you got your speed guy there because you can always work through that traffic so here's another spread defensive alignment. I feel like I have some space to that gap. Um, hopefully that we can get uh, you know some good blocking downfield. Like I said, a lot of times you're going straight. A lot of times you can bounce it outside and get a big run. But there's definitely a lot of potential to the counter Y. So here, like I said, this play. I mean, I got you know I haven't seen a lot of man coverages uh, where I could really work this stretch. 
but we'll go ahead and run that one time so here it looks like we actually had that cover three look which like i said that's a perfect opportunity to go the other way i'm always watching for that one more time hit him with the counter y like i said real easy reads and we got a we got a lead blocker taking us to daylight here. I mean, these are just explosive runs to all areas of the field. It's going to be very hard to diagnose. So I'm going to go to end the video there. If you guys want to see more Raiders, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button as always. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.